Hello and welcome to another video and uh, it's been a long time coming but I'm finally doing it. I'm finally going to do a trade up video of all of the skins that we have dropped over the past, well, couple of years I think now. I've been uh, holding off way too long with this but uh, there is just so much crap in my inventory that I need to start getting rid of it and what better way to do it than uh, a trade up. Now hopefully by the end of this we're gonna do a nice uh, up asim of trade up and i have uh, at least at uh, at least one pink that i can use since we did drop a p90 trigon that i think will be great for the trade up and we're also uh, we've also got a few bonus chances of getting extra items from the F phoenix phoenix collection such as the star track well the negative terrains i think i've got a few of them and a few other i think skins in the inventory from the Phoenix collection, yeah, I can see that I've got some Tech Nines and uh, some other Negevs and uh, Mag Sevens. So we're gonna try to put at least one or maybe two of the of these skins into each trade up to mo to get ourselves a chance of getting an extra pink. And of course, there is a couple of uh, Fam Asses as well. But uh, I'll see you in a second once I've uh, crafted the first trade up. So here we are with the first trade up. As promised, we've got one chance to get something from the from the Phoenix collection, and the rest is just random filler. I try to keep it low float so that our resulting skin ends up being as clean as possible. Hopefully, this will just continue through to final sort of op Asimov, so it gets us uh, as clean of a float as possible because that P90 is well worn. That uh, we have the, the pink one. So go on, let's get us. Oh, first one is a miss. We don't get uh, an another item to trade up for Phoenix Collection. Let's go to the second one. Right, here we are with trade down number two. This time we have a two in ten chance. I put a negative terrain and a UMP45 Corporal. Come on, get us something from the Phoenix Collection, please. There we go. Yes. SG553 Pulse. That gives us an extra item to put into a 10% chance for a pink, and then I, hopefully by the end of this I'll have enough pinks. Right, here we go, number 3, another 10%er, negative terrain. I don't know why I've got so many of these P250 rebuilds, but let's go, come on, another phoenix? Yes, there we go, that's two phoenix ones, so we have uh, I think four already, that'll be a really good chance to uh, to get ourselves a uh, Phoenix Collection Pink to give us a bigger chance of an Op Asimov. Right, that's number four. Another Negev, that's my last one. This one is a little bit worse for wear. It's a well-worn one, but the rest of the skins that I put in is all minimal wear, factory new. So hopefully that will bring up the load value overall. Ah, unfortunately, not what we were looking for. Well, let's continue. And here is another one, we're out of Negevs, so a Tech 9 stands, Sandstorm will have to do in its place. Again, bunch of minimal wear, factory new skins. Come on, another Phoenix, please. Oh, come on! That's probably not turning us a profit either. That's a shame. On to the next one. And yet another 10%er. Another Tech 9 Sandstorm, I think I'll go to one more after this. Come on. Give us a phoenix. Oh, I'm closing my eyes. Ah, oh, no, it's clutch. That's all right. All of these are super gonna be hella clean. We'll be good for the pink trade up. Hopefully we'll get something out of that. Okay, this time we've got a whole bunch of Glocks to go along with the tech nine. Please, please be another phoenix. Come on, get us one more. Although, I have to say, this skin is pretty sick. Right, on to the Mag 7 Heaven card. I think I've only got two of those. This one is pretty clean, minimal wear. Let's see, another Phoenix case, come on. God damn it. And on to the other Mag 7. And I'm starting to run out of high quality skins, so this does have some field tested uh, rocket pops. Come on, one more phoenix, one more phoenix, give us a big chance. No. 
Ugh, I'm negative as well. If it was something, uh, something better. I'm M4 AK from any of the other collections. Would have been uh, a good skin to sell. But uh, I think now it's just time to uh, get rid of all the filler, unless I've got a UMP somewhere here as well. Nope, it looks like I've used up all my, all, all of my skins from the Phoenix weapon case, at least all of the blues. So let's just uh, go on a, on a trade-up spree and uh, we're gonna do some quick, quick trade-ups. I'm gonna go in with random skins. I think this is still better than trying to sell them on the Steam market. Gets us a chance to... Uh, Get, uh, get some good skins and, uh, well, clears up my inventory, really. Here comes straight on number one of just completely random skins. What do we get? Any any actually actual good play gun? Nope. <laughs> Eisen Osiris. Well, actually, breakout collection. Another good one to uh, to have, I think. Uh, I would like that uh, M4A1S uh, Cyrex. That would be pretty cool. An old school skin. Now let's go to the next one. Random trade up number two. Let's hit go. And... Okay, Acid Edge P2000, not too bad. Another trade up of random skins. I think there's uh, some cool skins from the Riptide collection. Do we get one of those? Hey, sick! An M4A for Spider Lily. Let's have a quick check. Is that actually worth anything? It's field tested, unfortunately. But hey, looking at the price on the Steam market, that's about 280. We can sell that, make uh, get some money back. Better than selling 10 blues and getting uh, steam fees uh, to eat up most of that. And this one's gonna be a breakout case. A breakout collection item, let's go. And another breakout item. Ah, oh, what? An M4 Osaurus. Oh well. Well, statistically, this one should be an item from the Revolution collection. But we get one more from breakout, that's not too bad again. And another one, let's go. What do we get? Random crap in color purple, let's go. Come on, give us an AK-47 slate, we'll do for another giveaway. Oh. Another piece of garbage in color purple, let's go. Right, nine skins from the Revolution collection, one skin from the Clutch collection. The, the nine to one odds. Yeah, of course it's Revolution. But at least another M4. We'll do for another giveaway. And another 9 to 1 Revolution. And one for Falcon Collection. And another Revolution skin, of course. Now, in this trade up, I think there is one of my all time favorite mill spec grade skins, and that's the Scar 20 Grotto. Let's see if we can uh, trade that up into something from the Chroma Collection. We cannot. And this Glock 18 Moonrise does not appear to be the rare star pattern. Oh well. Yeah, more garbage. And more garbage. What about this time? <laughs> Same garbage, different float. Ooh. Garbage from the Gamma Collection. Let's go. Now I wonder what uh, these 10 rebuilt uh, P250s are gonna trade up into. Could be another m 4 No, Nope. Just another umbr Umbral Rabbit. Ooh. Oh, at least this is something from the Killload Collection. New collection is always better. I think we might be able to sell that at, uh, at some profit. And this will most likely be something from the Revolution collection. Yep, another banana cannon. We've got another breakout collection chance. Ah, Roma. Out of Serenity. Could be better. Oh, it feels so good to finally get rid of all this stuff. I finally might have enough space to buy like uh, a lot of stickers and stuff uh, in bulk. My inventory's always been like uh, sitting around 900 items. And with that, swiftly and efficiently, we're going through all the Mag 7s. Oh, another space cap. Oh, 
another chance for a uh, skin from the Chroma collection? Come on, get us the Chroma. Hey, there we go. I love myself a Desert Eagle Naga. Such a nice skin in my opinion. Very underrated. Now we're just going through some Glocks and M249s. Come on. There's something nice. Ooh, another Eagle. Figure Discipline. Pretty cool. Maybe do a, do a giveaway out of this one. No, out of uh, this trade up, I don't think there's anything of particular value that we want. Hey, M4A1S Basilisk. I didn't even realize that I was throwing that in. But Vanguard Collection, M4A1S Basilisk, that almost certainly is going to make us some money. Pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Now I've got to be more and more careful because I think I've got some really. Um, valuable stuff in, uh, in the blues uh, section from some old collections that I probably don't want to trade up accidentally so uh, I think we're, we're safe in this one there's uh, shadow cases, shadow collections oh there we go speaking of the shadow collection Nebula Crusader, let's go pretty cool looking skin in my opinion and I think that this is us out of uh, blues to trade up the rest of this stuff, I mean these USPs I think they are going to be sold out, I think they're, they're gonna be war, worthwhile to be just sold se separately rather than doing trade-ups. We've got some old school skins, we've got some, uh, what was this, 2021 train collection, definitely don't want to be uh, trading that up. Um, yeah, I think M4A4s as well. Some really old school deagles, another tw train 2021, Havoc collection, that's gonna be worthwhile, well that's gonna be worth a lot, don't wanna trade that up accidentally and uh, obviously AKs are not worth to be traded up because they can be sold so with all of that out of the way let's get on to the first purple trade-ups now with these ones i will want to be a little bit more cautious on what i put into them i will definitely be wanting to uh, put in a couple of these sg553 pulses and we're still going to be aiming for something in the sort of lower float if possible i did drop some few factory new purples in the past so uh, we're gonna try to split that up uh, sort of evenly between uh, i think what these two uh two uh, purple trade-ups i think right so here we are sg553 pulse is our goal we get a, a p90 trigon if we get an ak47 red line that's even better right that's gonna be plenty of uh, profit and uh, some backup things, some uh, Nova Koi. If we get, uh, we, we could get a Desert Eagle Conspiracy out of this, that's not too bad. And then some uh, other random fillers. So, first sort of semi exciting trade up. Let's go. Please, please be the next collection. Yes! Okay, it's not an AK 47 red line, but I'm happy with this. Is, uh, is it good? Is it uh, minimal wear? Yes, it's minimal wear. Low float. Brilliant. This is exactly what we wanted. Woo! Okay. Let's go to purple trade-up number two. Right, trade-up number two. Again, 10% chance to get something from the Phoenix collection. We already got super lucky with the first one. The fact that we got something from the, from the Phoenix collection. Let's give it another shot. Shall we? Oh... I'm happy, right? That's uh, AK-47 Ice Cold. Pretty solid skin. I think this one is going to be minimal wear as well. It is. So hopefully this actually is pretty valuable on the market. About £10. Not too bad. Definitely won't be trading this skin up. But uh, that leaves us with, I think, a couple of Famases that we can still trade up. Purple trade up number four. Famas Sergeant loaded up. I think this one only goes up to minimal wear, so a field tested one is not too bad. Let's get ready to do a trade up. Come on. Give us enough. Oh, I, I, saw, I saw a P19 and I was instantly happy, but and then came to the conclusion that it's not something to be happy about because it's not from the fitness collection. I think we, we've got one more. Now, this is the last FAMAS, and I seem to have used up all of my sort of low float skins, so this has a lot of a lot more field tested and such skins in it but there is still a chance of an ak-47 red line there is still a chance of a p90 trigon nova antique come on please give us one of those Ay. so close and now i think we're just gonna do a few purples just random skins random crap let's uh let's make sure that we have some extra filler pinks 
right? This isn't a completely garbage trade up though. There is still a chance of something from the Breakout Collection and we also have Kilowatt Collection skins so we can get a USBS Jawbreaker, Zeus, M4A1S skin. There is quite a few uh, good things that we can get out of this one. What do we get? We get garbage. We get garbage of color pink. Yikes. That's, that's a shame. There was some uh, really good items that we could have traded up to uh, from this. Unfortunate. Again, this, since this is a purple uh, trade-up, it's not garbage skins all the way. We got a Sword of Serenity. If we get an AK-47 Cartel or an M4A4 Dragon King, I would be super happy about that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that uh, that we really want out of this, but at least a 10% chance of getting something nice. Well, almost 10%. Please. Okay, another AK-47 Ice Cold. Not exactly what I was anticipating or expecting out of this, but hey, we'll take that. Uh, how much are the field tested ones? We saw minimal wear was around tenner. Field tested what? Five quid? Six quid? Huh? Five fifty? Almost six quid? They seem to be on the rise now. Might be a good time to invest in them. I think they have bottomed out now, very much so. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one, but there is still a PP Bison Osiris from the Breakout Collection. Desert Eagle Conspiracy, maybe? Nah, unfortunately. More more crap. Color pink. On to the next one. Now here I see that we can get either the Op Duality, maybe an AK-47 Frontside Misty. Those would be pretty good. Op Mortis, that would be garbage. USPS Cortex, I'm a big fan of that skin, but uh, not that it would bring us any money. What do we get? Ah, Turbo Peak SSG 08. I like that skin, I've got that in uh, in stat track, it's pretty, pretty neat, but uh, I don't think it's gonna, it, it, I don't think it turned us a profit from this trade up. And I think I've got maybe one more set of purples in me to uh, do a trade up with in the inventory. Obviously the M4 is not getting traded up, this grinder is not getting traded up because it's got a rare sticker that I like, and it was a gift as well, I shouldn't be trading up gifts. And come on! Wait, 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 wait! What can we get out of this? Uh, nothing interesting, really. Oh, another AK-47 frontside Misty. Come on! Not really. Not, not happening. We got two AKs so far. They were, they were pretty cool. Oh! And here it is. The final trade-up. We've got two in ten chance of getting an item from the Phoenix Connection uh, collection, and then 50% of that to get an Asimov. There's of course uh, a few other uh, other collections here, so I think it's safe to say that we have about a 10% chance to uh, to get an off Asimov. That's gonna turn us a profit, for sure. I think there is a couple of others. I think the M4A1S Golden Coil, that would be pretty good. We are unlikely to get a field tested of Asimov, I don't think. Uh, just judging by the fact that some of these are field tested and uh, they're not like super low, uh, like super high float field tested, but uh, it's all I've been able to scrounge up and I don't really want to spend extra money. So, well, let's go for broke. You know, the, with, these, uh, with this we have a chance of making some money at least. But let's, uh, let's go. Opasimov, come on, please. I've always wanted to have an Opasimov, and I've never managed to uh, to have one in my inventory, if I if I remember correctly. It was always something that was just a bit too expensive for me to buy, and obviously I would not, uh, I never dropped one, so... Oh... Come on! Op! <laughs> oh no... I'm almost too scared to see what, uh, what... It's minimal wear, so that's not too bad. But it's not gonna be worth anything, is it? What a shame. Oh, the inventory's not loading. Nine pounds. Oh. 
All these trade ups. If we got the op wildfire, that would have been sick. If we got. I suppose it could have been worse. We could have got the uh, Og Chameleon. Ah, this is what we get. 0.106. I think that is everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.